Hey, this is Peter at Free Worship with a tutorial on adding a web page. So this is a pro feature. So we go up to the add section, click on the web page icon. We've got an editable field in the middle there, which allows you to select what web page you want by typing in the URL. And then we've got this window down here with the scroll bar on the right hand side, which is basically just a browser window. So as you can see, when you go live, the browser is controlled on all three. So you've got your central pane, which is controlled, you've got your preview and your live, all from that center one. So then what we've got in the middle there is a little scroll bar, which allows you to adjust the zoom level of that middle one only. So you notice when I moved it then, we didn't zoom in on the preview or the live, just your control one. So that is basically just to allow you to be able to navigate around the page and easily search um, for the content that you want to display. So then you can use that gray box that is becoming smaller and larger as we move that slider to navigate around that page easily. So then I'm just going to show you quickly by adding a song and that basically the browser retains the page that you've got at the moment when you click away and add another service item. So that's really useful because you wouldn't want to lose it when you've got a service list. But that means that you can also queue up multiple web pages if you wanted to show your church web page, um, maybe the another organization's web page, you add a song, you go back and click on the service item there, and you can see it's where you left off. Um, so that allows you just to click again through. Um, so you can do that live as part of your church service. Um, but remember that that needs to be clicked live um, for those changes to take effect. So I've been Peter at Free Worship with um, the video tutorial. So please check out our other tutorials at freeworship.org.uk.